Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shirley, and if you're new here, welcome to the family. Um, in today's video, I'm just going to be doing the eye look. I'm going to be using two colors. I'm going to be using the Ciate London. I am a woman. What's your superpower? To all the amazing women, we see you, we hear you, and we celebrate you. So this was a palette that was created to celebrate women, powerful women. And you know we are powerful. Sometimes they don't want to give us that recognition. And here are the, are the shades. I'm going to be using Hattie McDaniel and Amelia Robinson. These two shades here. And then I'm going to talk about them as I use their shade, what they're known for and why these two women accomplish in their life and why they put them in here as one of the powerful women. But they have a whole bunch of other ones in here. Aww! One of them is called You. That's You right here. I just saw that and it's a star beside it. So what power do you have? And then they have Claudette Colvin, Madam C.J. Walker, Rosa Park, Eleanor Roosevelt, Harriet Tubman. So I like this palette. And I think this was free to me from BoxyCharm. And I love, I want to give it a try. The shades are beautiful. So let's get into this look. And everything I've used will be in the description and you can, you can look down there and see the stuff that I use so I can make the video a little shorter. We're gonna start with Hattie McDaniel. This is my first time trying the palette. Hattie McDaniel was born June 10th, 1893. And she died October 26, 1952. Hattie was an actress and a radio performer. You know, back in the days, they used to have shows on the radio. You used to listen to the radio for performance. But I remember when I was working in the 80s, radio still did some stories at night. And I, I used to love listening to them, riding home from work. As a matter of fact, Hattie was the first black performer on radio. Hattie was also the first African American to win an Oscar. And not to say the first African American woman or the first African American man. She was the first African American to win an Oscar in, 19, in, the, in 1940 for her role as Mammy in the movie Gone with the Wind. I've never watched it fully. I've seen bits and pieces of it. It's just too, <laughs> I don't know, too long and drawn out to me. But I'm, I said after, I knew who she was from that movie and I wanted to, I said, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a look. It just was so much going on in there. And people got on her so hard about, um, oh, you're not uplifting blacks, you playing a maid in a, um, a movie. What people have to realize is that back then to get a role in a movie was a, you either played a, 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 a maid or a slave. Cause that's all they think we was good for, I guess. Hmm. And she said, which people will find offended, offensive. She said, I'd rather play a maid in the movie than to be a maid. That's one of her famous quotes. She started her radio career before doing the role in as Mammy in Gone with the Wind. She It was in the 1920s she did the radio performance. And then even before um, Gone with the Wind, her, her first screen appearance was in, the, um, in 1934 in the movie Judge Priest. And she actually got to sing a duet with the lead white guy that was in, I can't think of his name, but she got to sing a duet with that. And you know that's strange? Like they mentioned that because we were, that's, 
I don't want to go into it. Back then, you weren't really allowed to, and I think she probably performed it two miles away from them, to actually be around or to sing with the whites. You weren't allowed to do that. Because you remember when Kurt on Star Trek kissed the um, black lady on Star Trek. People, they were blown away by that. Like, oh, he actually kissed the black lady. He kissed a black lady. And y'all know y'all was designed to kiss us anyway. <laughs> she got her two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame after her death. And she died from breast cancer in 1952. So that is the story on Hattie McDaniel. This is a lovely burgundy plum color. Now I'm going in, this is sort of a shimmery burgundy color. And this Amelia, it's Amelia Boynton Robinson shade. And we're gonna talk about Amelia. Amelia. She lived a long, long, long time. Yes, she did. She was born in 1911 and she didn't die to 2015. I'm also going to insert pictures of them. And I went and looked at Amelia. I was just blown away by her. Like I had heard of her, but not really looked into her. And she actually was an activist. Or like she was an activist most of her life. She even took a picture with um for the um what is this? Not the celebration, but for remembrance of Selma. You remember President Obama and Michelle? Them did the walk across the bridge. Just looking at that picture, it made me cry. Of course, I'm a crybaby, but. That made me cry. She lived to see a black president in the White House. She lived to be 104. God, that's a long time. So, Amelia lived to be 104. Mainly known for a picture that was taken during the march in Selma and she was hurt. She got hurt. And I'm gonna insert a picture of it right here. It happened during 1965. You hear me? 1965. It was called a bloody summer, the bloody Sunday Civil Right March in Selma, um, Alabama. And like I was saying, she was a civil right activist most of her life. So could you imagine she was marching um, with um, Martin Luther King Jr. in Selma and then she got to see a black president. She lived to see a black president. And most of her critical roles was promoting black rights. She was really into getting the black a right to vote. I just don't understand. Why we had to fight so hard for certain rights in the United States. It's not like we drove up from Africa and got out of our cars and wanted to have a right to do things in someone else's country. We were actually brought over as slaves. These people was now birth, born in the United States. And you think they had no right. That's just mind blowing to me. And I'm talking about this is back in the 19, 1800, 1900. They felt this way. And guess what? They feel that way right now today. People who are racist and prejudiced feel that way right now today 
and there's so much jealousy that it's just it's just crazy and you know Selma the movie almost was nominated for an Oscar and that was based on Selma and the night bloody Sunday and she was a part of that but she was a great activist for blacks oh I love this show it's so beautiful. The colors are so pigmented. Oh, let me put, I'm gonna put a little bit more of Amelia right here. I like that they gave them names, the colors names. I should, since I didn't see it, I think, is that gonna mess it up? I think I'm gonna go in Right in, do I, should I put it in? I should I put it right here? I'm gonna put you right here, me. <laughs> I'm, ooh, and that's what I was thinking about. I don't know how they gonna go, but she gonna try it. When it say, and what is your power? What do you wanna be known for? It's not showing up. I'm gonna go under the eye. Put it over here. What is your power? What do you want people to remember you for? Something good, something bad. What? Because some people are known for stuff. They went down in history being a bad person. I want to be known for, I was a good person. She was a good person. So this is the Ciante I Am Woman, What's Your Power? This is a really nice palette, like I said, and the colors are phenomenal. Look at that, beautiful. I think I'm going to line the top. So this part, she's not going to top. Try not to. And that's the house laboratory. And then just put on a little mascara here. Okay hey guys, this is not the final look. I'm gonna go off camera, I'll fluff up the hair, and then we'll take a look at the final look. Okay guys, I am back with the final look. I don't know why I'm about to show you my hair. <laughs> I think it's so pretty. I love those colors. I wonder how they pick the color for each woman on the palette. I want to thank you guys for stopping by and watching my video. And if you're new here and just became a part of the family, thank you. And I will see you in my next upload. Mm -hmm.